say a quick thank you for tuning in. It means a lot to us that we have incredible people such as yourself to share this content with. So we hope it inspires you to continue to get out there and make the most of your journey doing whatever it is you're doing, wherever it is you're at. If this video brings you value or you enjoy the content we share, please take a moment and hit the like or the subscribe button. The highest compliment you can give our channel is to share it with others. Thank you very much and enjoy this week's episode. Very different interesting. Look at the top one, the seats on the top. Oh, that's okay. Very I don't know what it is, but just the sound of running water and walking by a stream, it does something in the soul. What you doing over there? Is it yummy? Does it smell good? Okay, so it is Labor Day 2019. We are at Zion River Resort. Slow start today on purpose. Like we got in at a decent hour last night, but it's uh, it's been four days hard driving to get as far west as we possibly could. And now that we're here, we just want to have a slow down time before we actually got out there and went out to enjoy Zion and the Narrows and do Angel's Landing, which we're probably gonna be doing tomorrow. Had a major scare today thought all the drone footage we've been capturing through Monument Valley, Goldings, essentially every bit of drone footage we thought was gone. Come to find out, it's just that my computer can't handle the uh, 4K uh, footage. So I'm dumping all of my phone just so I have it in case anything happens in the future. Uh, we're only renting the drone this time around just to see if we like it, to see if we can get some use out of it. So far, it's been amazing. I'll give a review on that later on. But we're ready to get going. Uh, campsite has been amazing. If you ever plan to come out to Zion, and you are going to be uh, RVing, using a tow behind camper, even tent camping, uh, Zion River Resort is fantastic. It's called Zion River Resort because there is a river that runs right alongside of it. The staff here is amazing. The grounds are kept up immaculately well. So be sure if you come out this way to check out Zion River Resort. We're going to get underway and start moving so we can go out there and enjoy the Narrows. So disconnect it. We have to come back and reconnect tonight. That is one of the downsides of not bringing a towable vehicle. Again, we're learning all this firsthand. We were smart. We probably brought the Malibu or the truck, towed it behind the RV, and then we don't have to disconnect and do all this stuff. But when this is your lifeline and everything's in here and there's no towable cars, this goes with you wherever you go, unless you shuttle, which cost money. So we're heading over to Zion. It's hot, so we're looking forward to getting in the cool water. You think of Yosemite, you think of the Grand Canyon, you think of Glacier National Park, and one that's always been on the top of my list has been Zion. And just driving in here has been surreal. We can't wait to check this thing out. What hike are we on? The Narrows. What you got, bud? The Narrows. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Zion National Park and we are on the trail called the Narrows. We took a shuttle bus. It's a really easy transportation. It's easy to get to. It's about a 40 minute ride on the tram and it is awesome. You get in the water and it's freezing cold. It is crowded but not so much in the evening and that's when we came the late afternoon and it's um, a lot less crowded and it's just it'll take your breath away. It's gorgeous. Tricks for the Narrows. Num tip number one, you should bring really good shoes because sometimes it can get really hard to walk. Number two, you need a waterproof backpack for all of your things because you get wet. Really, really wet. <laughs> and for you need walk sticks, um, the, the water is really slippery so you, you have to have walking sticks. So the Narrows are a must. Like if you're coming out this way, you, you've got to do the trail. Uh, the, the challenge is you're always looking down at your feet to see where your feet are going to go because you have to plant yourself on these rocks. And I was holding the camera so I could not fall. It was, wasn't an option to fall. And you forget to look up, but when you look up, it's unbelievable. And to think that water carved this out all the way down from the top to the bottom. I don't know what it is, but just the sound of running water and walking by a stream, it does something in the soul. Get out and find some water to walk by. Zion National Park smells like Frontierland in Disney World. If you don't believe me, go ride Splash Mountain, smell it, and come out here. in to do Angel's Landing and then we're heading off to the Grand Canyon. So it's a big day, big travel day. Did a lot of laundry in the morning. Um, got the, the, you know, the RV picked up, cleaned out. This is kind of our halfway point. Been a great, great time here at Zion River RV. You come out, you gotta stop here. Had a little bit of an issue this morning. Had a clogged toilet. Never had that happen in an RV before. We panicked a little bit. Well, I panicked a little bit. Tried to fix it with a stick, which I don't recommend doing. Don't stick items in your toilet. So we had to call John in the service department here at Design River RV. Really quick, came on out, really happy. Well, not, I should not say happy, but very helpful. Hey, John, we got a problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who put the stick in here? <laughs> it was me. I have a feeling that John's unclogged a lot of toilets, but he was very, very helpful. Thank you, John, we appreciate it. Let's remember, the whole staff here at Design River RV has been fantastic. Wouldn't you agree, Jess? Yes. We're gonna head on out. 
but this is Jessica's first time driving the RV. So it's a nine mile trek to the park. How are you feeling about it, babe? I'm feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. And she has some really good support here with her this morning. So, you guys ready to go? Yeah! Hey, yeah! Nice to see friends. Um, so we were going to go do a hike with them. Yeah, that's right. What were their names? Jeff and... Carrie. Okay, um, her name's here. She's already in Texas. Carrie Farmer. Jeff and Carrie Farmer. They're looking at doing this full time. Yeah. And they're from California. And we're Four kids. And they're also classical conversation homeschoolers. And they're all girls. All girls. What do you think about that, Daniel? I this one he goes. No. <laughs> I don't know. He's been asking me. Can we have another baby so I can have a brother? Because there's just a lot of girls. It's just you and me. <laughs> well, he also has a permanent dirt mustache since we've been camping. Yeah. This kid has remained filthy the entire time. Buddy. Love you guys. All right, 3 30, 3, 3 o'clock. All right, I'll see you back at 3. But you'll have your phone, so. I have, we have signal on here. Yeah. All right, love you. Bye love you to you. Love you. Have fun. Turn the generator off when you leave, okay? Okay. And you have the keys. And lock in the door, yes. <laughs> Well, let's get after it. Does that feel high when you do that? <laughs> Buddy, you know what? The national parks were not supposed to get off the trail, so let's get down. Wait, Mama, if it says it's off the trail, it'll have a stick in it. Well, the year, the year passed, it's taking place. Yeah. 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 Rock. Yeah, the rock, the, from the rock fall, remember? But then where's the little swimming thing? No, we have to swim back at the thing. Okay, so I told you before, it's hot. It's September 3rd, I think it's about 100 degrees. Not a lick of shade on this trail. Uh, probably gone, huh, my guess is about a little under a mile. Got a mile and a quarter to go. And that's where we've come up. And that behind me is where we're headed to. And then we're to Yaka. Let's go get some. <gasps> There's a bug on the Whoa. camera. That is a big stick. Okay. Oh, I know it. So you can go. Inside. Right there. Oh, oh, you got it. single review says to do this before 7 a.m. I'm doing it at 1. 
when are you going to start listening to other people's advice? It is hot. You have to take breaks. I don't know if it's the altitude that gets to you or if it's the, uh, the temperatures or just the strenuous hike, but all three have uh, an effect for sure. Get ready to put on the GoPro so you can kind of see the, uh, the level of incline and everything, but it's pretty magnificent. Oh, yeah, ready? Set? Jump in, Becca. Woo! Feeling no, no. I did it. I did it. Wait, you're going to go again? Guys, look. Mama, look. Mama, look. Oh, you're closing your mouth? Good. Close your mouth, okay? Go, buddy, go. <laughs> okay, so I think I've gone, I think it's been about two miles, got half a mile, a quarter mile to go, and that's the trail of Angel's Landing. This begins a section of the trail called the Chains, where you literally have nothing to hold on to but a chain to keep you going. Three points of contact all the way. This should be fun. I don't know how high up I am, but it's high.
Okay, so made it to the top. Took me a solid, a solid two and a half hours. This was without question the hardest, most physical, mentally uh, draining, emotionally intimidating climb I've ever done in my entire life. The oxygen is incredibly thin compared to what I'm used to. Can't breathe. I'm getting off this thing as quick as I can. Heading back down. I'm actually supposed to be down there at uh, the visitor center like right now. So kids, Jess, I'm sorry, we're gonna be high, but good news, daddy's alive and uh, he's ready to see you. That was amazing. Go out there and get some guys. Get yourself some of this. This is amazing.